everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. I'm your host Super Jungle and today I'm going to be doing a video and in today's video I'm going to be doing a cat commentary here talking about Black Ops 3. So guys in today's video of course I'm going to be doing a commentary talking about Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and things that are going to be related to Black Ops 3. And the first thing that I want to talk about of course and that is some new weapons actually came into Call of Duty Black Ops 3 about a week ago being the AK-74U as well as the M1911 and I'm really hoping to get those guns because they actually look really really neat. The AK-74U is probably one of my favorite guns in Call of Duty Black Ops 1 as well as it's actually one of the best guns in my opinion in Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered and of course COD 4. And yeah the M1911 also looks like a really really neat gun so hopefully maybe in a supply drop in the future I can actually get one of those guns. Also the PPSH and like the Galil and some other guns like that look really really good. But the only thing that kind of sucks when it comes to these supply drop guns and that is I'm never lucky when it comes to these things. Like I know like you'll go on YouTube and you'll see these people and they upload these videos talking about like they get one supply drop and they get three of the new guns and it's like are you kidding me? I can barely even get a knife variant and you guys are getting like ballistic knives and AK 74 U's and like crazy stuff like that. But yeah when it comes to actually getting some of the new guns I'm currently trying to get the triple play pack so that way when the new guns come out because chances are there's going to be more guns coming to Black Ops 3 I'm going to have the triple play all done so that way i'm going to have something like hopefully 200 crypto keys and then like a triple pack and everything like that so that way when the new guns come out whatever they may be i can actually go and try to get them and actually have a legitimate chance of getting them so yeah that's what i'm actually trying to save up for right now and this is something that's really good about the triple play pack and that is it actually gives quite a bit of an incentive to play black ops 3 for a lot of the people that really maxed out the game like for example myself i'm prestige master 240 i have dark master and I have hero gear on quite a few specialists so I don't really have too much to go for like I'm not going to be trying to get up to level 1000 because it's probably going to take me like two years at the rate that I'm going right now and I'm not really that interested in getting up to level 1000 and it's really good because it gives an incentive to actually play some more Black Ops 3 and actually have a goal and that is of course to win games so that way you can get a triple pack so of course you can actually get some of the new guns which is something that's really really good because I remember originally in Black Ops 3 as well as in Advanced Warfare if a new gun came out the only way that you were gonna get it is just dumb luck there's no way that you could actually earn it other than just like grinding out supply drops and just hoping that you get the new gun and I think that Modern Warfare Remastered and Infinite Warfare probably has the best system when it comes to getting new guns and things like that but if let's say you want to get the triple pack in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and you know you want to get some tips on how to actually do it I would personally say play gun game because gun game if you want to get a win you only have to come in first second or third which means that you don't have to come in first all the time and you can still get a win as well as gun game is all by yourself which means that you don't have to worry about getting a crappy teammate that you have to carry them to victory like a domination game as well as gun game is actually a pretty short match they usually go to about three minutes long so that means you won't be playing a 15 minute match of domination just so that way your team can just suck and then you end up losing the game and then essentially you didn't even get any progress towards the triple play pack however if let's say gun game isn't your thing and you want to play with a team i would recommend playing team deathmatch because it's a pretty fast mode as well as the objective is pretty clear get as many kills as you can and try not to die that much you don't have to worry about like capping objectives or doing anything like that just get as many kills as you can as well as team deathmatch isn't really that long of a game mode so yeah i've been talking for a little while now specifically about like the triple play as well as some of the guns that actually came into call of duty black ops 3 so yeah if you actually did enjoy this cut commentary don't forget to leave a like on it down below and subscribe for more videos and if you really do like my videos and you don't want to miss one make sure to click the bell button down below so that way you won't miss an upload so yeah that has really been it for this video and yeah hope to see you in the next one